This tutorial will show you how to make an activity diagram in UML. If you're new to UML, check out our video, What is UML, linked in the upper right, to learn more about the basics of Unified Modeling Language before getting started. An activity diagram is an easy visual way to show what's happening within a system. Creating an activity diagram like this one can help other project stakeholders, especially those with less technical experience, quickly understand the process or behavior you diagrammed. You can use an activity diagram to describe a use case in detail, illustrate a workflow or an algorithm, or model your software's architectural elements and how they work together. In this tutorial, we're using Gliffy, which is an easy to use diagramming app available in Confluence, Jira, and online. You can learn more about Gliffy through the info linked in our upper right, or you can find a link to start a free trial in the video description. Once you've started a free trial, you can follow along with this tutorial in Gliffy. Getting started is fast and easy, promise. So what I pulled up right here is an example of an activity diagram that shows in detail a use case for a system, which is ordering a package. This diagram uses swim lanes, these vertical columns, to show who performs what parts of the activity, the customer, the store clerk, and the ordering system. Swim lanes can help you organize your diagram, but they're not required. So here's an example of another activity diagram. This one does not have swim lanes. But you can see a few basic components of activity diagrams in this example. First, actions like obtain order are shown with rounded edges. Decisions are shown when a condition is added to your activity or there are multiple possible outputs depending on the input. Just like a normal flowchart, decision nodes are diamonds, and that's easy to remember because they both start with D. This black bar indicates a fork, which is where the activity splits into two simultaneous activities, and then later we have a joint, which is where the activities combine back into one activity. And then at the starting point you have your solid black circle, and an outline black circle to indicate the final end node. Now that we've covered those basics, let's make a diagram of our own. In Gliffy, I'll go to File, New, and I'll click UML ERD to get started. This loads the shapes that you'll need to diagram into the panel on the left here. So here I have my UML activity shapes. If you're not seeing those shapes for some reason, you can go to More Shapes, and then click on this Software Design tab and make sure that the shapes you need are checked. So now we're ready to get started. As always, we'll start with this initial node, the solid black circle. And for this example, let's do an activity diagram to describe what happens if someone asks your organization to sponsor an event. So the first activity would be this rounded rectangle here, and we will say receive sponsorship request. I'm going to center that text there as well. Now from here, we're gonna to need to make a decision. So I'm gonna drag in a decision diamond. On the one hand, we could accept this event and on the other, we could decline it. So let's start with declining. If the event is declined, we will say send email from template, not interested. And I'm going to hit command D to quickly duplicate this and I'll pull it up here. And this is where we'll say send email from template, sponsorship accepted. Adjust this to make it look nice. Great. So if that request is declined, this activity is over, but more is still gonna happen if it's accepted, which means that we're going to use this final flow node which tells us that this flow will end here, while other flows would continue throughout the system. So if we accepted that sponsorship, a few things are going to happen all at the same time. So I'm going to drag out this bar, which is going to let us indicate that multiple things are going to happen concurrently. If we accept that sponsorship opportunity, we're going to request an invoice, And we're also going to send our branded materials. So that could be stuff like t-shirts, pens, whatever swag you wanna send for this event. So those two things are gonna happen at the same time. 
After you've requested an invoice, you will also receive the invoice. And you will need to pay the invoice. Now, from this stream, these things will come back together. So I'm dragging out another synchronization bar. And then the last thing that'll happen is we'll get an event recap from the organizers. Great. And that would be the end of this system. So we're gonna make sure we drag in the activity final node. Now we will draw in our control flow lines by dragging and dropping and then connecting where you see the green circle appear to show how everything flows through this system. Now up here where we've made a decision, we need to give this a label. So while this is selected, or you can just click, you can type. Sponsorship accepted. And you can click to drag this text around as well. I'm actually going to add a line break just to make it look nice. Here we go. And then we'll do one down here for Sponsorship declined. We will connect one arrow to this synchronization bar and then show how the activity forks out by using multiple arrows off of that bar. And that is all it takes. For more complicated or advanced activity diagrams, you can drag and drop in other shapes and notes, which indicate how pieces of a system communicate with each other or send signals, or how activities repeat within a system. That's everything you need to know to get started with activity diagramming in Gliffy. Remember to keep it simple so that your viewer can understand at a glance what that flow is but include all the details you need to provide a helpful description. It's a fine line, but you got it. When you're done, be sure to save and share your diagram. You can post always updated links in Trello, Slack, and other workplace tools so that as you make updates to your activity diagram, your teammates never accidentally reference outdated information or versions of your diagram. And if you haven't yet, be sure to sign up for a free trial of Gliffy via the link in the video description or check out more of our UML diagramming tutorials. You will be a pro in no time.